What's up, y'all? So DDG has lost his doggone mind, okay? Now, first of all, yesterday he took to Twitter, and for some reason he wanted to be a little freaky. But I think his little bit of freaky was a little too freaky for the internet, okay? Now, before we even get into these tweets, a lot of people feel like it affects Holly, but I just disagree. She squirted in my eye, got me looking fitty. <laughs> my tweets have nothing to do with Holly. Stinky S-E-X. Y'all say it's weird because y'all don't be effing for real shrimp A niggas, okay? Now, I know people going to get on me, but I just don't think it can affect Holly. I know he he just, like, come on, hot, sweaty, muggy, stinky, wet, booty, ass, breath, naked. DDG, why? All right? If it ain't funky, you can keep that monkey, okay? <laughs> I feel like he was being funny. And that's just what he do. And people just can't catch on to that boy's um, personality. And it's almost like if you, if you don't get with it, you're going to get lost. Because she love that man. When I say love, that's her man. Okay? Now, next, we on to YK Osiris. For some reason, he decided to kiss Suki. Yes, Suki on a huh. In a, the mouth. Okay? Mm, 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 mm. Roll it. Okay? Because roll it. Oh, God. Oh, I want. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> Girl, as much calm Suki say being in her throat, I just feel like he shouldn't have done that. But anyway. She said, I drank to hide that. I'm very sensitive. I feel things more than the average person. I stopped drinking yesterday, but today I've been crying all day. I asked God to strengthen me and use me to help others and order my steps in his word. I just want to go away for a while. And I just feel like she is sad because YK did it. <laughs> now, one thing about my good sis Amber Rose, she going to step in. And she felt like Suki was disrespected. She read, she had a whole book that she put on instagram y'all can read it if you want to but basically she letting it be known like are we really gonna do this are we really gonna let suki be disrespected basically and a lot of men are like yo she be putting that type of music out there she asked for that all right so when yo when your daughter get older and she put that type of music out there and she starts to get sexually harassed by uh, by men you ain't gonna have a problem then and i think these men don't think about their daughters but anyway she said, I'm so sorry you had to go through that, Suki. My heart breaks for you. Child, y'all let me know what you think about that. Now, we are about to go into Kai Sinat. So Kai Sinat responds back to CJ So Cool, basically calling him a hater. CJ So Cool said USB eagled him. Oh, true story about Kai. I met him in real life, but it wasn't official because I was in a restaurant, chilling, eating, me, Lexi, Big Al, some other people was with us. And we're in Miami. And Kai walks in with speed. Kai, speed, four security guards. They just walk in the restaurant. I'm sitting down eating there. I'm like, man, I'm looking familiar. They looking at me like, hey, you look familiar. I don't say anything. To Wait, them what? Because I ain't gonna lie. They doing better than me in the social media zone right now. So I'm not finna be approaching people like, because ah, honestly, I ain't, I ain't nobody fan. I'm a fan of myself and my kids. That's it. I ain't fan and I'm a nobody. So when I see them walk in, I didn't say a thing. They looked at me, they was talking amongst each other. I was talking to my people. And then my people was like, what was Lexi? She don't know them. She never saw them in her life. Why are they looking at you like that is what she said. I was like, because they know exactly who I am. And then I was like, they're big YouTubers. They're both big as hell on stream. They're just, they're big right now. So that's why they got security. Hey, She's like, oh, wow, that's cool. And I was like, well, hopefully they say something. You know, they say something. I'm going to for sure say something back. We can get a picture, chop it up, maybe collab. I don't care. Who knows? And they finally ordered. They walked right past me like I was a ghost, even though they were just looking at me this whole time. 
And then when they did that, I realized that either one or two things happened. One, they don't like you. Or two, it's a that younger generation thing where the younger kids don't understand respect and they don't know how to give respect even when they're doing good. Because I'm going to like this. When I first started YouTube, if I would have seen someone who was doing YouTube before me way better than me and I was inspired by them and I've actually wrote them in their DM before, I would have at least said, what's up? Like, hey, what up, bro? Man, keep it up, bro. Y'all said fire. Whatever, right? It's simple. Wait, did I, did I DM CJ so cool before? You you gotta be talking about speed. CJ, have I ever seen you before? CJ so cool. I'll be popping bottles. Hold on. He's not dead ass, though, chat. This is he's there's no way he's dead ass. Nah, I've never spoken to him before in my DMs. Gotta be speed. But they just walked past me like I didn't exist. So that's when I was like, you know, they don't exist to me then. They popular, they famous, they rich. It doesn't stop my shine. I do what I do, Wait, they do what, what they do. We're totally different people, right? But then I wanted to, because Lexi and everybody and my friends that was there that saw it, it was like, why is people like that? Why do people do that? Because da, da, da. like, I don't know, but let me go check the DM and I, I'll DM them and let them know that, like, hey, I saw y'all today. That was me. And I go and I check my DM. And I check Speed's Instagram. Speed is big. And there's DMs from Speed in my message. I never saw them before. So they're like unapproved, I have to approve them. They're from like 2017, 2018, I'm like, what the heck? CJ, I know you're not That's that a ass. lot of years that went past between CJ, I know you ain't that DMing ass. me all those times and me not seeing it, and then him becoming a little bit older and becoming a YouTuber. Now, by the way, Kai never DMed me, so okay. he never did that, but Speed did. And for Speed to have done that and been next CJ. to Kai and with Kai and both of them saw me CJ, and CJ, recognized CJ. me, even CJ. though I didn't have my jury on, it don't matter. CJ, CJ. Shout out to uh, Melina X for the $5 per month. Appreciate it. It just showed me that people are your fans and then they don't want to be your fan anymore once they become somebody or once they're older or once it's not cool to be your fan anymore. So when that happens, that's when you realize that these people are fake because I'm still fans of Nelly. I still like Chris Brown. CJ, one, you're chatting. Two, this is wrong with the black community, bro. What the f did you just say? Three, you contradicted yourself. You contradicted yourself. Listen closely. Just walk in the restaurant, I'm sitting out eating. Listen, listen. I'm like, man, I'm looking familiar. They looking at me like, hey, you look familiar. I don't say anything to them because I ain't gonna lie, they doing better than me in the social media zone right now. So I'm not finna be approaching people like, because ah, honestly, I ain't. You, you're literally, you're, you literally just contradicted yourself. You literally just said your ego is too big enough to go up to niggas that you fuck with. Did I see you in the restaurant? Yes. Like, like I, I did see you, but I don't know, I don't know you, gang. Like, on the, in the most humble way possible, we're all human beings, bro. I'm just there to get a meal and leave. Literally. Literally. I, I'm just there to get a, a meal and leave. And, and CJ, you know, you know, I fuck with you, I fuck with the kids, I fuck with everybody. But, but you deadass could have, if, if, if that's how you thinking, you deadass could have came up to us. That made no sense. I mean, if it, but I don't, I don't, that shit got my mind blown right now. What the fuck? That shit got my mind blown right now, chat. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way. Nah, but CJ, there's no way you're dead ass right here, bro. Ain't nobody fan. I'm a fan of myself and my kids. That's it. I ain't fan and I don't nobody. So when I see them walk in. I'm not a fan of nobody either. Unless I, unless I really, really be watching niggas' videos, chat. Like, it gotta be a nigga like, chat. It gotta be a nigga that I really, really, really like fuck with, bro. I used to get starstruck a lot, but now, like, niggas is numb to it. I'm not gonna lie. Now niggas is numb to it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, 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 Roman out what I'm going up to him. Scissor, I'm going up to her. Uh, Boogie, I'm going up to him. I'm going up to a lot of people that I fuck with. Like, OD, 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 OD. But if I recognize you, I don't recognize a whole bunch of people when I didn't go up to them. Like, I done seen Floyd Mayweather a whole, I done seen Floyd Mayweather about five times. And everybody knows who Floyd is. Does that mean you gotta go out your way to say what's up to the nigga if you don't know him? No. You feel me? I feel like Kai has a point. Like, if you seen them first, A, you could have spoke. And not all, only that, if you seen them in general and you wanted to speak, just speak. He absolutely did contradict him, himself in this process. And 
I just wish CJ grow up a little bit because it seemed like Kai and Speed a little more mature than he is at his big age. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Do you think CJ is wrong or do you think Kai is wrong? Love y'all. Get off my phone.